Here's why the US Army unwanted Brahms might destroy the Russian T-14 Armada. The answer may remain unknown, or at least full of mystery, unless there is a direct warfare engagement involving a T-14 Armada, an upgraded M1 Abrams tank, a serious development likely not wished for by anyone. However, there are some interesting points of comparison, and several of the reports on the T-14 claiming that it is superior seem to completely overlook defining elements of an upgraded Abrams. A report from Hotkurs.com in 2020, for example, tries to claim that the T-14 can operate at ranges of 310 miles, compared to a 265-mile range for an Abrams tank. It is not clear if a range difference of this kind, if accurate, would have a massive tactical impact given the advent of unmanned systems capable of sustaining long-endurance forward armored reconnaissance missions. The Hotkurs.com report also says the T-14 is more powerful than rival tanks, riding the T-14 Sports, the all-new 2A8021M 125mm, 4.92-in smooth pour cannon, replacing the older 2A46125mm gun of previous Russian and Soviet tanks. This cannon is more powerful than its Western counterparts like the German Leopard 2's Rheinmetall 120mm gun. This claim, however, offers little to no specifics about Abrams lethality, and likely does not account for several key lethality enhancements made to the Abrams, such as its ammunition data link, programmable fuse, and new multi-purpose ammunition round, which combines several different rounds into one, such as high-explosive anti-tank rounds and anti-personnel canister rounds. Newer variants of the Abrams tank, for example, will include new laser rangefinder technology, color cameras, integrated onboard networks, new slip rings, advanced meteorological sensors, ammunition data links, and laser warning receivers. Other elements of the Abrams left out of the Hotkurs.com report include the incorporation of advanced computing electronics, targeting technologies, and auxiliary power units able to redefine combat operations moving into the future. Ultimately, targeting the range and accuracy of high-fidelity sensors and computing will most likely determine which tank might be superior. Small differences in lethality will likely matter less if one tank is able to see the other, while the other cannot detect at similar ranges. The tank that can find, target, and hit the other from a longer range is likely to prevail in any kind of war engagement. The Abrams is being engineered with AI-capable computer processing and a fast emerging ability to operate nearby drones and function in a manned-unmanned teaming capacity. Will the Armada be similar in this respect? Unknown. 